Hi, this is the easel that I started out with. Let me have my friend Dave tell you about how he made it. Hi, I'm Dave. This is a, a nice plywood here. This is veneer 2x4. This is a veneer leg 2x2. Two two. So never a tree that grew perfectly straight where the grain didn't do any twisting and so forth. He's highly got a veneer. And this board leg will never twist or bend. Then on the back of this, I just put a carriage bolt through here and then made my angle here for it to slide against with a rope for a leg. And pretty simple project, just put screws in the back with glue and it's good and strong. Bye. So I started out just painting it a white and then for the front I painted it with chalkboard paint. And then I used screws on the board to kind of act as an anchor for the pots. And I drew out where I wanted each pot to be. And then I marked on the screw how far in I needed to screw it so that it would be uh, perfectly notched in with the flower pot. And there it is with the screws in place and ready for the flower pots to be anchored onto the easel. And I drew with chalk where I needed to screw some holes through the easel. This this will be for string to hold the flower pots in securely to the easel. It was kind of difficult to get the string through the small hole, so I used a nail and pushed the string through to the back, and that really helped be able to draw the string through easily. I tried to use a screwdriver to screw it in, but it just got uh, twisted up with the string. And there I draw the string in from the back and then I situate the pot there and put it on the nail anchor. Have it sitting on the nail anchor and then I pull the string tight and then tie it to the back of the board. And it's as simple as that. And there's one idea is just to draw out your ideas for what type of garden you want to plant. So I just chopped it all out on the front of the easel. And there's another idea. I had it as a welcoming sign for our front entryway. So thank you for watching.